Hello Aries, welcome back to my channel. Okay, this is going to be a financial reading for Aries, career and financial reading for Aries for the first two weeks of August, okay? Please don't let your spirit come through and tell me what we need to know about Aries. How y'all doing? I hope that y'all having a blessed day so far. Let's see what y'all got going on in y'all for finance and career. Okay, so I'm, this is kind of a lot going on. I feel like this message is from like a few different people, three different messages. So I'm seeing like some of you guys are going to be retiring, okay, or resigning from like a position for some of you guys. And I'm seeing for, for some... Some of you guys are currently, you know, unemployed. And for those that are unemployed, I'm seeing some type of training. I'm seeing some type of training in your future. Like you guys getting some type of train training at a job. For those that possibly are resigning uh, or maybe not resigning, some of you guys could be dealing in crypto. Some of you guys are dealing with crypto. I'm also seeing you selling I'm seeing you getting a new asset, something about selling something and getting a new asset and also something being on sale. Maybe there's something that's like on sale that you want or that you may end up purchasing and you may end up getting it because it's on on sale. But I'm seeing a new asset and it being on sale and then something also about you selling something. Maybe you got a new asset that you that you have to sell or that something about selling something and gaining a new asset and getting something that's on sale. I know it's kind of all over the place. It's crazy. This is the first time this re the reading I did was kind of all over the place. Everybody's getting this card. I feel like everybody needs to make sure they have some type of insurance. So maybe you can get a job in insurance. But this is just talking about insurance. Something about having insurance, getting insurance, or needing insurance in some kind of way. Aries, Aries, Aries for the first two weeks of august please tell me what aries 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 for the month of august the majority of aries that are here i'm seeing you guys paying bills you have bills that you gotta pay we all got bills we gotta pay but i'm seeing you pay off bills and right now you're just you know, paying off bills. You could be paying off, um, you know, that asset that you got, paying paying off um, items that you have. Maybe some of you guys could be paying off a car. It just talks about paying bills, having bills that you have to pay. I'm seeing some of you guys getting an interview. Some of you guys can be looking for a job. For those that are unemployed, I'm going to see that you guys are going to be getting some type of interview. And I'm hoping that you guys get it because with that card that says training, you guys are going to be in some type of training for some type of job or get some type of training. Yeah, and I'm also seeing that you're spending. Maybe you guys need to slow down on your spending. Because with that spending, I'm seeing you spending money, you're selling things, you're buying things. Aries, y'all are, are all over the place for the next few weeks. Maybe I should start doing like week by week readings because i feel like this is kind of all over the place yeah i'm seeing you like paying off debt like just paying bills like focusing on trying to like get your debt paid off like that's real big focus for you guys for the next few weeks paying off debt paying your bills looking for a job i see like y'all out there looking for jobs and you know and for some of y'all yeah it's just like y'all out there looking for jobs for those that are unemployed, it's like y'all really trying y'all hard. But you know what? At the bottom of the deck, you got unexpected income. So I feel like you guys are going to have some type of unexpected income coming in, Aries, which is a good thing. And maybe 
um, with this unexpected income, it can help you pay off debt. Maybe you can get some unexpected income, possibly from some type of insurance. I don't know. But I'm seeing that you guys being on a budget or either need to get on and budget. Okay. And I'm seeing payday. Some of y'all going to be getting paid soon. So y'all see y'all, y'all see them out there shopping, you getting paid. But, and I also see some of you guys um, getting some overtime. For those that are on your job, I see you like working overtime, like, you know, just really working hard, you know, working hard, extra hard so you can be able to pay off debt, pay off your bills. It's like, you guys are like really, you hustling, y'all out there hustling, y'all looking for jobs, the ones that got jobs, y'all working overtime, y'all, you know, y'all doing it, okay? And also, I'm seeing background check, okay? I love to see this card because when I see this card, that means y'all got a job that's checking y'all's background, okay? So, for for there's going to be somebody who's going to get a background check on somebody. And normally, when there's a background check, you know what comes after that? A job, you feel me? So, and there's going to be deadlines that you got to meet. There's going to be some deadlines that you guys are going to have to meet. And also, you might need to be careful because some of you guys might be overspending and need to budget a little bit better. Budget your money a little bit better. Okay? So, I know this seems all over the place because every sign and it's not going to be in the same exact place. You know, there's people that got jobs, people that don't got jobs. So, I feel like this reading is going to be for everybody for those that got jobs y'all gonna be i see y'all looking for jobs i see you guys getting it i see you guys getting the interviews and them doing a background check let me read one more benefits this job that y'all can have has benefits you know insurance and you know all of that extra stuff you know that's what i see the ancestor spirit come through give me what pipe um aries needs to know Quiet retreat. It's time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts and feelings from your inner world. Create this quiet time for yourself and you'll have more clarity about what to do next. Okay, so you might need to take time, sit back, meditate on, you know, the next steps, you know, that you need to do in order for your finance and your career. And you'll know what step to take, you know. Whatever that step may be, maybe it could be what jobs you want to go to, what area you know you want to look for the jobs, you know, based on, you know, where you live. You might have a job offer that's closer, but that job pay less, and then the job that's more far away pay more. Maybe you got to try to figure out what you're going to do and block out distractions. You guys have some distractions, so block those out, Okay. It says your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. So it's time to take charge of your schedule and working environment by turning off elect electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what's important. You already know that what these distractions are and you have the power to responsibility to, to responsibly block them out. So these two kind of go hand in hand. It's like maybe you need to take some time to yourself and block out the distractions that are in your life. Okay. And it says counting your blessings and feeling gratitude for what you already have helps you be centered in your heart instead of being fixated on the worries on your mind. What and who you are, what and who are you grateful for right now? Keep focusing upon gratitude and you'll discover the amazing generosity of the universe. So when you show gratitude for the things that people done for you and the people that are in your, that are in your life, more things will come to you. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and go to the second part of the reading, okay, which is my, I have two other decks and we're going to get to the tarot. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next reading, okay? Okay, if you are just tuning in, then this is going to be the second part of the reading, okay? I have to break it down when I'm on TikTok, so that's the reason why I do this. Okay, Ancestor Spirit, please give me... A message for Aries. 
butterfly. It says sudden change, frivolous spending, short-term loans. Yes, this is the same exact message, okay, in a different deck. You guys are, like, spending money on things that are, like, not important. So, you got to get your priorities and check. Some of you could have a career in arts, okay, doing temporary jobs and doing fun work. Some of you guys could be get doing, like, second jobs. You know, I got that overtime. So, some of you guys could be, like, really working, like, a lot so that you can be able to pay off your bills and stuff like that. The moon. It talks about unknown sources being guided, okay, moonlighting odd jobs working the night shift working part-time so i'm seeing you guys like really like working towards like doing a second job or doing like two jobs you know you could work two jobs like maybe one job to make money another job that's really what you want to do like while you're transitioning into the type of job that you really want to do so that's what i'm seeing for you guys like I'm seeing y'all like really hustling. I really love it. Even though you guys are not where you want to be, it's like I'm really seeing, picking up the energy from this reading that y'all are like just going out of your way, you know, to make things happen. It's like, yeah, it's like I'm seeing like there are blocks with you financially, you know what I mean? And you might be stuck, but things are going to get better though, you know? You, there might like you know there might be a, a a small waiting period where things aren't where you need them to be. Some of you guys you might be laid off. You feel me? Some of you guys are just in this transitional period. But you know what the thing is? People are gonna be doing things for you, giving you things, helping you out with this gift card. Um, people are gonna like you're gonna get financial support from from others. I'm seeing you getting like financial support. So. And and that's where that um gratitude comes in. It's like if you show gratitude to the universe, to God, to people around you, more blessings are gonna come towards you. So for those that you know, you just thank God, pray about it, and watch people start blessing y'all. Okay, people gonna start blessing y'all. The ancestor spirit come through. Tell me what Aries, a message for Aries. What Aries need to know? Yeah, I'm seeing. I'm seeing communication coming in. I'm seeing things happening fast. Communication coming. You could be getting a letter, mail, um, and sudden changes and things happening fast. So be on the lookout, you know, for, you know, some communication. It could be a communication for a job. Check your email. Make sure that your notifications are on, you know, so you don't miss it. Um, there's something about something in the past, possibly... Um, with like family and being happy and you just thinking about things in the past and thinking about being stable in your home and um and being happy and turn these around so y'all can see just being being happy what is this but I'm seeing, like, there's somebody around you. This could be you or someone around you who's, like, very controlling, irrational, wants to dictate things. Why is this here? Someone that's very cutthroat around you. Why is this here? There's someone... There's someone that's possibly a warrant, like, because I'm not getting the energy that this is you, because based on the other cards that came out before, it's like you're trying, you're going out of your way. So this Eight of Pentacles in reverse, it talks about being, not being motivated, giving the bare minimum, being lazy or having like dead end jobs that go nowhere, being mediocre, me, me, like, mediocre. I'm seeing you guys being, like, stressed out and, like, having anxiety and um, stress and not being able to sleep. But I'm also seeing you, like, grow and have progress. Maybe in the past. I don't know if this is, like, past energy. Why? Clarify the Eight of, the eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords.
I don't know. I feel like maybe possibly in the past, possibly there could have been like delays and obstacles that were in your way that wasn't giving you, you weren't seeing progress. And maybe that's what kind of made you just like not going out your way to like maybe search for a job or not giving like your best effort because you just weren't seeing things happen the way you wanted it to for some of you guys. But it's like I'm seeing abundance come to you. I'm seeing like in the future you being happy, being satisfied, being very abundant and compassionate and good things happening to you. And I'm seeing like you just being like very happy. Yeah, I'm seeing you like um becoming like more aware. I'm seeing celebrations. I'm seeing you come together with family. Why is this? Give me Aries energy because I don't know why I'm feeling like there's someone else around. For some of y'all, y'all might not be doing what you need to do. Let's see. Why is this page of ones? Give me Aries specific energy regarding like their financial situation, how they're feeling, and the energy that they're putting out. Aries. You could be hesitating to do specific things there could be conflicts and stuff like that around you but you're trying to be resilient i'm seeing like there's like miss they were like in the past like missed opportunities and stuff like that maybe bad investments maybe there could have been competition a class of a clash of ego but i'm seeing like things are going to be better though with this ten of pentacles why is this ace in reverse here i'm seeing someone being sad and being disappointed about something in finances and maybe there could have been things that you didn't know and secrets that are beneath the surface that you didn't know but i'm seeing like there's you're gonna get the the truth is gonna come out about a situation there's gonna be truth to it to a situation that you don't know something about some type of truth could be regarding your finances or something regarding like career or finances that you're going to find out like because there's um illusions and something that you don't know like i don't want to say secret but i feel like it turned out the other way and it kind of does give me two more cards for aries Some of you guys, you can have a new love interest. I know this is like, you know, or something that you love doing. But I just feel like you feel trapped in some kind of way. And you need rest. You're just trying to rest, have mental peace, and reflecting on things. I feel like I want to pull. I feel like you guys need this. The ancestor spirit come through. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, you guys, because we're at the end of the reading. But I'm going to pull... The lion talks about taking control. If you have moderate, aggressive, impulsive, this is an invitation to control your temper. You are engaged to explore how to express your needs or thoughts more openly and constructively to reduce your level of frustration. Yeah, because I'm seeing there was some type of arguments or some type of something with you guys. Like, um, some type of arguments. Like, you guys had some type of argument with somebody or disagreement in some kind of way. The Jaguar growth. Maturity is the ability to embrace change and can and change cannot happen without death. This death does not happen necessarily mean physical death, but it can mean the ending of a relationship, a situation, or simply your des your decision to not continue with the same old habits. So yeah, I'm seeing you guys growing and moving towards like a different direction in some kind of way. And you guys um are encouraged to follow your intuition. I saw the high priestess would talk about you knowing things and being like aware. But just pay attention to your intuition. Always follow your intuition. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I know this reading was all over the place, but I will see you guys in the next reading, okay? Love you.